good trip. Happy holiday. Run, run, run. <laughs> we're on our first trip after the pandemic, but we forgot how to trip and we're left. We're, 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 we're running out of time, so we gotta make it to our gate. We're gonna catch you guys on the other side. We finally made it. We are in Calgary today, and uh, we are going on a hiking trip in Banff over this weekend. We flew in last night, spent one night at the hotel because we got in pretty late, and it's bright and early. We're gonna go rent our car and drive a couple of hours out to Canmore, which is where we're actually staying. I, I don't know about you, Will, but I am so pumped. I have not been on vacation for like two years, haven't been on a plane in two years. So I'm excited to just get out, enjoy the sun, and enjoy the absolute most beautiful views. Aren't you excited just looking at the planes? <laughs> no, not for me. I'm not you. I'm not you. We are going to be staying near the Canmore area. So in Banff National Park, there's kind of three towns that are close together. There's Canmore, there's Banff, and then there's Jasper. And we are going to be staying near one of them. Right, Will? Yeah. We'll, book, we'll book the hotel, so I actually have no idea what we're staying. Our hotel is actually in the Kananuski, Kananuski? Yeah, Kananuski Valley. We're staying in a mountain lodge. Not quite sure what it looks like. <laughs> we booked it like yesterday, literally. Here we go. All we need is an open road and a chance to see a never ending world that's beautiful. Here we go with the sunlight on our skin. It's a brand new day. It's ours to take and we will let it in. This is where the adventure begins. So we've arrived at the Kananaskis Mountain Lodge and we're going to check in. William, perfect. And I have you here in one of our king rooms for uh, three nights. So, do, do you have to wear a mask? No. Wait, so since when? This morning. Take it up. <laughs> really? Yeah. You gotta like Go wave Alberta. it <laughs> and then like throw it on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Step on it. Our restaurants like 100% dining capacity? Yeah. Eight people uh, <laughs> maximum, I think now table, or even like, sorry, uncapped. Everything's uh, dropped today, all restrictions that's finished. crazy. Happy Canada Day. Yeah, happy Canada Day, no kidding. <laughs> Welcome to my vacation home in Kananaskis Valley. Welcome. Here is our luxurious 20,000 <laughs> square foot <laughs> apartment. Yeah, this is our nice little room. Super excited to freshen up, sleep, because the air here is so fresh. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. So, we are at Wasuch 
peak trail. Yeah. That's the peak. The hotel guest manager actually told us this was a really yeah, good so secluded trail. So the original plan was to go to Holling and Camor, but it's Canada Day and it's super busy. So he was like, if you want to hang out with a bunch of other people, go for it. But if you want something more secluded, go to this Wasuch Lake, uh, Wasuch Peak Trail, which is actually only a couple of minute drive from our hotel, which is perfect. We're gonna get to the peak. We're gonna get to see the valley. That peak, well, it's behind the tree, but that peak, that's that, sem that sounds very far. It's okay, it's, that's what we're here for. We're here to get to the peak. It is absolutely gorgeous views. We've been hiking for about four hours now, gained uh, 4,000 meters of elevation. Right, Lisa? Totally. It's yeah. been so tough. <laughs> We're so out of shape. <laughs> I, think I think we hiked maybe for like half an hour. Yeah, we hiked for half an hour. <laughs> like, okay, okay, to be fair, it's super steep. Like, literally, you just go like this. It's not even like a like this you just go which is a great thing because you get to see all the views right away but also it's just it's, it's like the brutal. why can't we make it to the top we ran out of water because uh, somebody didn't count properly i brought you said i brought enough there's a there's a mega heat wave and uh, it is 34 degrees right now which is just like it's melting us so we drank a lot of water we ran out of water now we can make, not make it actually to the top of the trail uh, the mountain actually so it's a little bit sad uh, we're just chilling and admiring the view so tomorrow we're gonna prepare better than the city people that we are and we're gonna start early, hopefully before 8 a.m. We're gonna bring more water and do a proper full hike and meet the summit. Of course, of course, hiking is about the process, not the journey. I mean, I mean the, journey, the, the journey, the journey, not the result, but the result is freaking sick. And I mean, if you can see behind me, the journey is pretty freaking dope too, so. It's all right, it's okay. We're here for another two days and we can do this over and over and over until our legs fall off. Why are you in bed, Lisa? It's 5 p.m. I'm so tired, the hike kicked my butt. <laughs> After we went on the hike, I read the reviews about the hike. Okay, and you should read it. I will read it. I'm an intermediate hiker and took six beginner hikers with me. They were definitely not impressed. Two of them ended up staying back and four continued and still made it to the peak. If you are a beginner, please do not pick this hike until you have two years of consistent hiking experience. One of the people in the group injured himself in three different places. Okay, I'm glad we didn't injure ourselves. <laughs> Alright, so we are up and it is actually 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Looks actually a lot brighter than 5.30, I will say. But uh, today we are going to... Where are we going to? Banff. 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 The, okay, big beehive trail. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we were very excited. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a failure, but uh, today we're going to make it all the way across, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. And then there's also this other thing is called the Lake Agnes Tea House and then they have lemonade. And it's super cute, obviously super busy, but I'm hoping that we can catch it before all the people get there because we're up so early. <laughs> it's like everybody's there at the same time. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. It's actually quite a bit of a drive uh, to get there. So hopefully it's very scenic and uh, we'll get started hiking. Oh, I can see the picture My dad in a bottle of liquor Left home that December Been years but I still remember We are coming up to a bridge 
and not just a bridge, but a very, very, very special bridge. Let's let's see what it looks like up close. It's not for you. The bridge is not for you. So these bridges are actually super interesting and it was one of the first things that I learned about Banff when I came here. They built bridges from one side of the road to the other for animals to cross over. It's a bridge just for animals, not for cars, not for anything like that. There were a lot of car accidents happening in what is this trans canada highway yeah, highway one highway one uh, because so many animals were crossing and obviously they didn't have enough time to get out of the car's way or you know the cars aren't allowed to stop so what the government did was build these special bridges for animals to cross on their own time like moose bears um little animals it's actually such a cool idea Pack my bags, get my ghost Just when I was losing hope I saw you standing there on the street And you said, do you want to go See the world, not go home We can be anything that we dream We'll be like kings and queens Running these city streets We're gonna rule the world This is like a super epic way to start the day. Yeah, I'm excited it absolutely to have some is. energized to make it to the top to see the lake from the very top because that's the that's the reward that you get. Ten kilometers. Hike. Ten kilometers. Here we come. <laughs> and you guys can see behind us Lake Louise. Look at this beauty. I can't get over how reflective the lake is. Do you want me to throw a rock and dis destroy, destroy it? Bye. Sure. We are at Lake Agnes, which is the halfway point of our hike. I mean, it could be the quarter point because like we can go a bit higher than when we were planning to. Wait, where's the big hive thing? The big hive is up. Okay. And then you get the view of Lake Louise, not Lake Agnes. On the other side of uh, Lake Agnes, this is the beginning of the big beehive trail compared to the first part. Where wait, 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 wait. It's the beginning of the trail? For big beehive. Yeah. Because you got to get to Lake Agnes first and then you go up to big beehive. Okay, that's how we're done. Don't worry about it. We got this. We got this. We're here to win and redeem ourselves from yesterday. <laughs> um, it's a lot easier than yesterday. A lot easier. Yeah. The one thing that is similar, not a lot of people are doing it because it is quite a bit harder. So we are getting to get out of the crowd that's, you know, starting at Lake Louise and going up to Lake Agnes. Hopefully there's nobody at the top so we can enjoy it just all for ourselves. All right. Guys, we made it, finally. Look, Two hours and 15 minutes. Look behind us. And we get to see this beautiful view. That's actually where we started, Chateau Lake Louise. Yeah. So we've come all the way up, 800 meters. <laughs> Feel good. Now time to enjoy and get down for a really big lunch. Yes. Or is it worth it? So oh, worth it. so much better than yesterday. And it's actually not as hot, which is awesome. 
Um, but this makes the whole trip just really, really worth it. All right, I think we're gonna leave you guys here. We are definitely tired. A lot of equipment to haul around, but please subscribe and like the video. And uh, we'll see you on our next trip.